Now that we're getting to the coding sections, I need to stress to absolutely use the GitHub repository associated with this course. If you come to the GitHub repo and you scroll down and you click the lesson that we're on, right now we're on lesson two, Welcome to Remix, Simple Storage. If you click on it, it'll give you a ton of timestamps and, and other helpful links associated with this lesson. Additionally, the biggest piece is that all the code will be available right underneath the lesson title. This will have all the code that we're gonna be working with, as well as some more additional information on how to work with the code. Please, when asking questions and entering in discussions though, please ask your questions in the full Blockchain Solidity course repository. Thank you. And if we're at the top of the repository and we scroll down, we have this resources for this course section, which brings us to the GitHub discussions, which you can ask questions in the GitHub discussion section of this course. Additionally, on Stack Exchange Ethereum or Stack Overflow. I'll talk a little bit about how to format questions and ask questions the best way so that you have the highest chance of getting a good answer in a later lesson. I highly recommend you pause and make accounts for Stack Exchange Ethereum, Stack Overflow, and GitHub right now if you haven't already. Links to them, of course, can be found in our GitHub repository. Typically, for each coding section, I'll start it off by giving a quick overview of the code of what we're gonna be working with and what we're gonna be building towards since everything that we're doing is gonna be project-based and that's how we're gonna learn. For our first one in Remix though, we're gonna skip over that because there's a lot of stuff to get used to. Now, I highly recommend that as I'm coding this and as I'm doing all this in Remix, you follow along with me and you code along with me. Remember, you can change my speed if I'm coding too fast or if I'm coding too slow. To start, we're gonna jump into a tool called Remix. If you're unsure how to get there, there's a link to Remix in our GitHub repository. This is where we're gonna be writing all of our code. So welcome to the Remix IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. This is where we're gonna learn how to code and interact with our smart contracts. If you want, you can go ahead and accept to help out Remix. If you've never been here before, it'll give you a quick walkthrough of some of the tools that Remix actually has. We're gonna skip over them for now because I'm gonna explain everything that's going on. Remix is such a powerful tool because it has a lot of features that allow us to really see and interact with our smart contracts. Eventually, we're gonna move off of Remix actually to a local development environment. However, Remix is absolutely fantastic for learning the fundamentals of Solidity and I highly recommend everybody start with Remix when they're getting started. When you come to the Remix IDE, there's a whole lot of different things that are popping out to us. There's a lot of different plugins as well. Since we're gonna be working with Solidity, which is gonna be the language that we're using to develop our smart contracts, we can go ahead and get started by clicking the Solidity plugin. And a couple of other tools will show up on the side. Even if you don't click the Solidity plugin, you'll still be able to code Solidity smart contracts. The left-hand side is where we're gonna to start to actually interact with things. The button on the topmost of the left is our files or our explorer directories. Remix comes boilerplated with some different contracts, some different scripts, some different tests and different dependencies. We are gonna minimize this a little bit. So if you want to go ahead and right click and delete some of these folders, other than the contracts folders, feel free to do so. Or if you kinda of like them there, feel free to leave them as well. We're gonna leave our contracts folder and we're gonna delete the different files inside of it just so that we can start from a blank slate. Most projects come with something known as a readme. Usually it's a readme.md, which usually explains how to actually work with code. But for our purposes, we're gonna delete this as well, and you can just follow along with me. 